Okay. Here we have another TV radio combo unit. Like I need another one. But this one, well, I'll explain. I was at the Goodwill shop on Friday, and then it's like looking for vintage clock radios, and maybe on the off chance, maybe a vintage television, but they're getting hard to come by. And whatever vintage TVs you do find, they're usually small, portable black and whites. But, why the heck not? I saw this, and I saw how unique it was, and I didn't second guess it, I just put it in the basket. And I plugged it in, it did work. Volume control may need to be worked on, but that's minor. And yeah. This is a Sony. It's a Sony. TV FM AM receiver model TV 413. I paid $8 for it. It's a good little shop. And yeah. And yes, it does have the clock. I'll show that. I'll explain that in a moment. Some instructions. The ready reference. Pretty much shows you how to use your TV and stuff, how to set the alarm, and all that, so I'll probably scan this and uh, put a picture on it. Do not open, you will die. That's where the batteries go. 1979 by Sony. And Here's the back with the information. Focus. There we go. Certification, UL approved, manufactured June of 1979. So it's 37 years old. And it still works. Try to see a flat screen TV last 37 years. It... Yeah, made in Japan. And this little thing right here. That's the battery for the clock, which I did replace. In fact, I'll show you the battery that came with it. Yeah, Sony dry battery SUM3SR6 size AA. Super. Disturbed by Sony EverReady, made in Japan. Yeah, you probably can't read it. This camera never won. I don't know why I keep getting cameras that want to go out of focus. But either way, this was already in the television. Now, whether or not this is the original battery, and it lasted 37 years without it leaking, I mean, that would be interesting. But, I don't know. I mean, there's nothing on the back that says what date it is, so... Yeah. Okay, I got the antenna up, so... The only way this antenna can be used is with the radio, because since analog TV is dead. But we'll worry about that later. We'll start off with the radio. And there's a little red light that says tuned, so something's got tuned. Sweet, there's a light. For the clock and the dial. So... duller and it makes you tired all the time why don't you just invest in the one thing that matters instead of taking the pills to go to sleep and then taking the energy drinks and the coffee in the morning to hang in her place, she loved it. High reaching 91 degrees. 
be mainly clear for tonight and muggy with a low of 73. And humid tomorrow with lots of sunshine around, a high of 92. Still humid on Tuesday with clouds and sunshine, but a shower storm for the afternoon, high 92. I'm AccuWeather's Courtney Spamer for Light Rock 98.7. Light Rock 98. In baseball on a Sunday afternoon. Shut up. Styles in your wrong way. I'm saying it's forever like Bobby and a Rambo and the other. Hello, I'm Joe Cordell of Cordell and Cordell. Not long ago we saw a ball. We're going to have guys that drop passes, miss field goals, get set, Shut up. give up. 1033.com. Never thought I would be like Then he may be looking at 4,000 before he's finished. I don't think there's any doubt that he's a guy that real. At the bottom of the racetrack, Kurt Busch putting the heat on Kyle Busch. Yeah, hi, watch that right guy racing. Side Woo! by side for fifth. I think the dial might be off because I think this is supposed to be 105.9 and it's like at 105.1, so... <laughs> You're listening to dead air. Put it back to me. Look how quickly that TV came up. But yeah, you're not going to get anything, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a signal hooked up to this, and then we'll see what it can do. All right, I got a signal in. The three CRs on the chair, and here we go. Here's your host, Michael Strahan. Hey, welcome to the one hundred thousand dollar pyramid, everybody. The only show Steve Harvey doesn't host. And uh, tonight, we're very excited to have with us the hilarious, the funny, the beautiful Anna Gaston. Oh. How are you? Feeling great? Yeah. I heard you had excited. a little tragedy at home, though. You go. I did. We're going through a hard time. Our our our, uh, our goldfish Gordon passed. Oh, sorry to hear that. He got pretty big, and um, the biggest issue was what to do with his carcass once he passed. My husband put him in the freezer because he panicked, and um, we um, we left him there for about three months, and then my mother came and found him when she was looking for some flounder. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, even though it's a little bright on camera, this tube, this picture looks a little darker than it should. And I think the cable itself might be a little bit bad, or the connection jack might need to be cleaned out. So yeah. So that's that. The show and tell of the $8 Goodwill Shop find, 1979 Sony. TV, FM, AM, receiver model, TV 413. Just another one to add to the collection, I guess. So I guess for next time, whatever it is, I must be thanks for watching. And the comment box is open.